matters what's about to happen for these four quarters and more. Everything we want is still right here. You gotta go take it. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten, he wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold, and the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. I watched the raiders from Oakland, Los Angeles, Oakland again, and Las Vegas. And I've never subscribed to the theory of refs being out to get the raiders. It takes a perfect person to officiate a game perfectly, and we have none here. The last perfect person was seen here a little over 2,022 years ago, and when he comes back, it's not to officiate an NFL game. But either way, for every tuck rule, there's a holy roller with rules and interpretations of rules being changed. The theory I've subscribed to since 2003 is the Raiders have been so penalized because they haven't been very good at football. But then I saw the game between the Raiders and the Kansas City Chiefs in week 5 and began to wonder. Of course there will be those that say that's just the way it went. Look at the bad call they made that should have been a sack fumble on the Raiders quarterback Derek Carr. But they made up for that one bad call in the first half with three bad calls in the second half. Two of them having a big impact on the outcome of the game. Leaving plenty of reason for suspicion. But let's start with the roughing the passer call that went for the Raiders. They've been calling it like this around the league lately, but I don't agree with it, so I'm showing you. That looks like a takeaway by the Chiefs to me. Now we look at it from another angle. Did Chris Jones come down on Derek Carr with all of his weight? If he did, that's a penalty, so let's take a look. The referee on top of it that sees the best sees that Jones tries to brace the ball with his hand. That's why he didn't throw the flag. That flag came from somewhere else. So the Kansas City crowd was understandably angry, but the referee spent the rest of the game trying to make up for that call. Here's a touchdown where edge rusher Max Crosby, who was playing like his hair was on fire, got held. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes gets outside and throws that ball because of that hold. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look from the other view. He has a handful of jersey on the outside of the shoulder pad, so that's clearly a hold, and both referees see it. Let's go a little further, and now you see Crosby trying to grab at Mahomes, but he's clearly getting held, and both referees still see it. This part of the hold is even worse than the first part of the hold. And now look, Crosby still getting held right in front of that referee looking right at it, but no, no flag. And we have a touchdown that shouldn't be. The ball should have been backed up 10 yards. I'm showing this play because the Raiders got a critical third down stop. They actually went on to make a critical stop later, but they deserve more for this one, especially in light of what happened afterwards. The Raiders brought both safeties and Mahomes has to throw it away. The Chiefs are going to miss this field goal, but we're going to get a holding call on Malcolm Coombs. If anyone was holding on this play, it was number 73 of the Chiefs. Look who has a handful of jersey on the outside. I think a no call would have been ideal, but on the defense, really? Come on. Alright, we're going to take another look at this from another angle, and you tell me what you see. Is Coons holding, number 73 of the Chiefs holding, or no one holding? My thing is, how do you call that and not call the hold on Crosby? And that call would lead to this play a few plays later, and that would ultimately win the game for the Chiefs. And you can guess who it is, Mr. Raider Killer himself, Travis Kelsey.
One thing I'm not going to sit up here and say is the Raiders lost to the Chiefs because of the officiating. The Raiders still had a chance to win. If Adams doesn't bobble the ball and comes down in bounds on that play like he usually does, that game is over in favor of the Raiders. But that doesn't mean the officiating was on the up and up. After the bad call in the Raiders' favor in the first half, the refs made some calls and non-calls that didn't make any sense at all. Which makes me wonder if there's any truth behind the conspiracy theory that the refs have something against the Raiders. What do you think? Thank you for watching. See you next time.